Hello YouTube, welcome to my duty belt review. Uh, I am a security officer with a local uh, security company here in Houston, Texas. And I just want to show you what I wear to work with me on my belt. Uh, as you can see, I have here a nylon holster. Uh, I have dual mag pouch. This is an add-on, but I have the flag light, uh, flashlight uh, holder. Uh, OC pouch, cuff case, baton holder, glove pouch, flashlight holder, and holster. Um, So starting with the flashlight, because I'll come back to this. I have a streamlight. It's a Stinger DS LED. I'm not sure, really sure what I'm talking about. Here I have my OC. As you can see, the price tag is still on it. Handcuffs. This is according to my father, who's a certified peace officer here in the state of Texas. He told me that these are an off brand, which should explain why my tactical pin, Smith & Wesson, or my peerless cuff keys do not fit it. I double lock these things and I can't can't get them unlocked so I'll have to maybe take these back and get my money back and get some Smith & Wesson handcuffs now we move to my ASP baton one second right. here is my ASP baton can't remember how much this cost me, but most of the stuff I got at uh, some of the uh, gear stores around here. One was Discount Uniform, uh, Top Brass, and I um, can't remember where else I've been. There's my glove pouch. is empty. There's no gloves in it. Uh, those don't fit. I've, I've tried to put those in there. They're too big. This is my secondary flashlight. I think it's a very, very good idea to have to. Cool thing about this thing is it actually glows in the dark. I'll show you. Leave it on for a while. All right, that should be long enough. And as you can see, it glows in the dark. This part does too, but obviously it's not as bright as this here. And this probably actually goes when it's actually dark. There's the lights on. My grandma's watching TV. So, um, on to the, uh, the blue gun. This is uh, for training purposes. My brother is, a, uh, is an explorer with a local law enforcement agency here in Houston and as far as working with him or training with him or teaching him things that he needs to know or helping him with whatever he's learned and wants to do I can use this instead of using my actual duty pistol and this is this is not company issued this is actually mine I actually bought it we'll get to that though all right so I, uh, this nylon uh, duty belt comes with two belt keepers. I don't remember if they were positioned like this or if I put them like that strategically, but that's where they are. And then I also bought four extra. This is uh, this is my uh, phone phone. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Phone case, phone holder. Um, I usually have it on my belt that way it's easy uh, e easily accessible so here's my uh, 
Here's my pistol. I have it locked to the rear. Oh, as far as holsters, yeah. Uh, Blackhawk. I have the, the belt. Uh, I don't know what to call this. But the uh, mount for the belt and also the paddle mount. All right, so this is my Smith & Wesson self-defense 9mm value enhanced. Um, 16, uh, this is a, a mag that goes to it, it holds 16 rounds, as well as this one. These two here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Black Hawk. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the belt. Uh, mount or the paddle mount. Here I have concealment uh, concealment holster for when I carry off duty. Or in, and then of course I have my gloves. Um, I want to show you this. I think it's pretty cool. I actually bought this today. This is a strap for my glasses. I got two glasses, so I got two straps. There, one is. Um, just to, one is non-adjustable and this one is adjustable but uh, so this is my duty rig and the things that I carry when I go to work um, feel free to uh, leave some comments ask me questions or anything like that um, I'm fairly busy uh, I work 12 hour shifts and I have two jobs so of course whenever I Oh, I can at least tell you what this is, even though a lot of you probably already see it and know. It's an MMP9. Oh, I don't think there's a retention on this holster, but it's it's not easy getting out if you're... Oh, that might be good for me to use. All right, so this is the Smith & Wesson Springfield... Uh, hmm. Maybe I'm reading something different. Okay, this is the Smith & Wesson MMP9. What I did not realize is I have two Smith & Wesson firearms. They're both 9mm, which is cool. I mean, of course, this is a training pistol, but still cool. And uh, this one actually fits in my holster just, just fine. Hmm. Okay, so look. It's a monster just fine. Uh, um, yeah, so this is this is my duty uh my duty gear. And um uh, I bought some more things, but I'm not going to put those in the review. I may put them in a review later, but as of now, that's not my uh, it's not my priority. But thank you for watching. Shout out to my little brother for mentioning uh, doing this review because I was not planning on doing it. All right.